Here we have a Dyson DC33 vacuum cleaner and we're going to show a uh, little video on how to clean the Dyson DC33. The first thing you want to do is remove the canister by pushing the red button and that comes out like that re revealing the HEPA filter, the first HEPA filter. There's a little snap on the side, a door opens up, take the HEPA filter out and you can wash this with cold water. There's a second HEPA filter right here and it has a, uh, a release right here. This comes out like this. Again, you can just wash this HEPA filter with cold water also. Okay, now that you have the two HEPA filters removed and the canister. In order to uh, take the canister apart to clean the internal part, you push the red button that releases the, the bottom latch here. That exposes a button right here. Uh, and then you push that button and then this comes out like this. And then you can wash the inside with cold water and get it all nice and clean. So got the canister taken apart, the two HEPA filters. The next portion would be go to the bottom. So we'll turn it over. Okay, on the bottom here, there's a tube right here that has a button right here. You push that button and this tube comes out and you can clean this tube. Also, there's a tube right here that has also two things that you can push and this tube comes out making it easy to clean this portion here they have rubber gaskets and you can increase the suction by keeping those rubber gaskets really clean uh, the next thing would be the, the brushes and the brushes are right here and if you don't want to get too too deep into this you can just pull it out and or cut it with uh, some scissors or an exacto knife because a lot of hair and string gets tangled up but if you've got a quarter with a half turn counterclockwise a quarter turn counter counterclockwise you can release these three screws and you're able to remove the, the brush portion. Now there's a gasket in here, a rubber gasket that has to be fit back. So you have to be careful to seat that rubber gasket really nice. And you probably should leave this alone and just work from the top. But if you have something that's really damaged, you can actually take this thing off exposing the brushes and the belt and here's that rubber gasket that I was talking about it goes in this channel right here so you have to be sh sure that you keep that rubber gasket intact so when you put it back together again the rubber gasket is in place like that and then just reattach it it's probably worth noting that if you wanted to reattach this, it has little holes right here that these pins go into. So you slide the pins into the hole. Then you make sure that these are up and down like this. The screw heads are, are up and down like this. Then you slide this into the, the slots and then you push it down and with and it goes right back in and then you turn these a quarter of a turn clockwise to lock it back into shape then it's back in place okay the next thing would be to clean the hose in the back so let's get to that next okay on the on the back here we have the hose and the cord 
and you want to release the cord. So you pull the cord off, releasing the cord. Next, you want to uh, pull up the hose and fold it back like that. And then there's a, a little piece of plastic right here. What you do is you pull that piece of plastic toward you like this and the hose comes out like that. And then you can wash out the whole hose section. Okay. There is one more point that I should bring out and that is after you clean these rubber gaskets here, this one and this one, and you've got everything clean and you reinstall the canister, there's one thing to notice and that is, let me get this in there close, right here with the canister fully installed, there's still going to be some wobble and a gap right here. This is normal. This is okay. So don't worry about if it's not seated properly. This is fully seated around this gasket right here. So even though this wobbles like this and there's a gap all the way around here, it's okay. That's all. Thanks for watching.